Hello, thanks for stopping on by. Andy at ADP here. I just quick wanted to take an opportunity to show you the run powered by ADP technology to give you an idea about what things are going to look like when you sign on up with ADP and run payroll with us. So I just want to show you this is our home dashboard. So when you log on in, you'll be seeing this home page and you'll be seeing almost like a personal assistant if you scroll on down just a little bit here with your upcoming payroll and top to do's. So the run system is really great about keeping you on track with the upcoming payroll and notifying you when there's any outstanding tasks such as updating uh, your employee information. Like for the example here, we have to complete Ralph Mouth and then also get to the payroll that's past due. So it works for you, it works with you um, and it is pretty automated as far as just um, keeping you up to date with the tasks that are upcoming. So it does a lot of work for you. Like I said, it's like almost like having a personal assistant. And this main homepage, it shows you a few different insights too, like recent payrolls. It'll even show you employee birthdays. So just quick high level, um, this is what you see when you first log on into the run system. But now I wanna show you real quick, just the run payroll feature, since that's what you'll probably be using this system the most for. So I just went to the sidebar here and we went to the payroll tab. So clicking on payroll, it brings us now to um, a few different options. We can go ahead and run payroll like on your normal run payroll cycle. Bi-weekly, it's going to be bi-weekly or an off-cycle payroll. So if you had any sort of bonuses, extra commission, just a different payroll that's off your typical cycle, you'll be going ahead and running that payroll there. Now we also do have a calculate checks feature. This is one of my favorite pieces of run. It's really neat. What it does is it allows you to be able to know the take home net pay that your employees are receiving. And if you don't know the gross on top of that, if you, if you knew for sure that you wanted to pay an employee, say a thousand dollars, but you didn't want them to have the taxes taken out and then take home lesser of a thousand, what we can do is we can calculate checks and we can say to run, hey, I would like to pay this employee $1,000 take home in his or her pocket. What is the gross pay? What are the taxes based on that $1,000 for that employee? So that calculate checks, we'll go ahead and do that piece right there for you really quick. And then it'll put it into your next payroll. So getting into the actual run payroll, we're just going to hit run payroll. And then uh, this page is really nice. The next few are just going to be kind of like uh, almost like little Excel spreadsheets, just showing you the rates of pay for each of your employees, regular hours, salary amounts, if they are salary per payroll. And then, of course, any other miscellaneous uh, uh, earnings for any sort of holiday, sick time, uh, overtime. And we can customize these, too, if you were going to be having tipped wages, cash or uh, electronic, we can add those here as well. So this is just to give you an idea, but we can customize customize these to uh, fit your business needs. So just know that this is, you know, of course, just the demo and that we can do more to make this um, more personal to what you are going to be needing out of it. So we'll see our pay period. We'll see that we're going to be paying in this example, October 30th to the 12th with a check date of November 21st. So We'll look, look through the page and make sure everything's good to go. These can be automatically uploaded into the run payroll. If you did not have consistent wages, we could update these per payroll. So let's say that we had May uh, working regular 40 hours in the pay period. We could have this automatically populate the 40 or we can, or we can manually upload it like I just did here. Julie, we have 100 hours that's automatically uploaded. So that's a default amount that we have preset. And that's, again, going to be based off your own individual needs and how you structure your payroll. So uh, we're going to the next page here. And now we're getting into 1099 contractors. So we have Tim Timmy Thompson uh, at a rate of 70 per hour. And then just like the last page, we can just uh, put in those hours manually if they were going to be varying or any other additional flat amounts that they're going to be earning for the payroll. 20000 that'd be nice. We'll say $2,000. Um, all right, so then we have the 1099s taken care of, and now we're going to go ahead to preview the payroll. What's really nice here, the personal assistant keeps on working for you, so 
Uh, the run system will always prompt you to double check something if it thinks that something's maybe a little bit um, off or um, needs to have just an extra confirmation. So, uh, for example, Dan May, hey, uh, this employee was terminated. So, you sure that you want to pay them for the full payroll period, or do we just need to do the payroll for? the duration of their employment with you. So we're just going to ignore this, assume that we wanted to pay out Dan May for the rest of the pay period. And then we're going to be at the preview payroll screen. This screen is really nice. It's a final step just to confirm the total cash required that's going to be coming out of your business bank account that's going to be used for the total wages and taxes for this payroll. So that's going to be everything coming on out. So just have that prepared in your bank account. Don't run the payroll if that's not ready to go. We don't want to, you know, overdraw from you, of course. And then we'll see the three employees that are going to be getting paid. We'll see total gross pay, and then we'll see uh, total taxes. So that's how we're getting to that total sum of three thirty-three seventy-three. It's that total gross pay, and it's the total taxes. So that's going to be that total giving us that three. Three, three, three. Um, all right. So, and then getting into this page, what we can do is we can run a couple different reports. If you did want to have these early, you would go to reports here, just a limitation of the demo. It's not letting me uh, hit that uh, piece there, but you could download reports ahead of time. If you wanted to see like a preview payroll report um, outside of this page, it's just a little more cleaned up um, and a little, uh, you can, you know, save it and have it, um, uploaded offline in here. But otherwise, you'd be seeing pretty much the same information that you're seeing right here, uh, the total cash required, payroll and total, and uh, summary of what's going on for the payroll. So at this point, we have the three W-2s, no contractors on the payroll, and everything looks good here. We're going to go ahead and hit approve, and then boom, success. Your payroll has been submitted, and now you'll see that you're going to be having that check date of Monday, November 21st. And that total cash requirement is going to be coming on out of your uh, business bank account so that we can take care of the payroll. All right, so now we just go ahead and hit done. And now we are back at the homepage. So that's just a high level overview of the uh, run system here, mostly focused on how we actually run the payroll. And again, I just went to the side dashboard here and went to uh, payroll, clicked on that. We could also go down to the personal assistant uh, part of the homepage and just click uh, run payroll here in the little blue bar and it takes us to the same page now we're running the payroll once again so a few different ways to get there and navigate uh, and if you do have any questions about running the payroll ever feel free to reach on out my cell phone is 954-632-6721 so i'm available call text i'm also available by email feel free to reach out for anything at all i'd be more than happy to help Thank you so much.